since I have no awning, I'm going to be putting a, a tarp up here to span out over this area for one, for evening shade, for rain on the days it rains over the door area for letting the dogs in and out. What I've come up with, because I'm having a difficult time without having to order off the line, is canopy poles, tarp poles, to go into the grommets of the tarp. I'll give you an idea of the grommets in case some people ain't sure. So I found these fiberglass poles. I got a point on one end. And each piece is four foot, so it'll give me eight foot. Then I got these pieces of pipe connector. What I'm gonna do is those fit in there pretty good. I'm doing this one handed anyhow. But you can see on this one they fit in there nice and just very, very little leeway. So I'm gonna take two of them, I'm gonna epoxy them together in the center of the pole. Then when I get that done, I've got to work on the points to where, because this is thin, and to keep it from going all the way up and the tarp sliding all the way down, I have to make some kind of a stopper. So this is my plan with things that I have here. I'll say my about two dollars piece. I think it was like a dollar eighty-nine. But then I took one of these solar lights that doesn't work. I took the plastic tube off. And what I did is I cut two pieces. I was thinking about epoxying some screws on like that, but I got a better idea. I took the top out of the medicine bottles. Pretty hard plastic, so oh, well, it fell in. And then I took and cut a hole in the center. So what that's going to do, and these will be epoxied on too, what that is going to do, it makes a stopper point. Then I'm going to take these pieces here. I will epoxy it onto that. And that will leave me, depending on how much I want sticking out the top of the tarp, and I made these nice and snug so they don't move real easy. But I'll epoxy those on and give myself some room to put it through the tarp. But also leave some. It'll also give me some room to put a piece of rope through the tarp hole to make another brace to tack down into the dirt. But that is the project I'm working on. When I get it done. I'm actually going to borrow a neighbor's ladder. I am going to attach one end of the tarp up there and then the two poles are going to be down on this end where the tarp stops and then I'll anchor it down. Once I get this project finished I will show you the final project. Stay tuned. Okay something else I had noticed. I had, I'd ended up getting this 60 second epoxy because I wanted it to start working quickly so that way my pieces will hold together. It cures, full cure is four hours. But one thing I notice is, there we go, since there is some play here and to mix up that epoxy it starts curing in 60 seconds to make enough to go down in the hole is not going to quite work. So what I did is I took some of the dried or already starting to set epoxy. I cut it in strips. And what I did is I'm slipping these strips down in there in various places on it. So it will help it help hold it steady. And then I don't have to completely fill it because these this will cure in a full four hours. So that should help hold it down also. See how that coat holds it from wobbling around? 
then I'll just slide it up a little bit. I'll fix my epoxy underneath and I'll slide it down on top of there and then I'll put epoxy around the top and then once it's cured enough I'll turn it upside down I'll put epoxy around there. It is a waterproof epoxy also. It's non-shrinking so when it dries I don't have to worry about it shrinking and it's clear and blue so when you put a little bit you only want to try a little bit at a time you don't want to try to mix too much at a time because it cures quite quickly but the blue is as you mix it and it turns clear you know it's ready to use when you hurry up and quick apply it that's why you want to set everything up I got my pieces stuck in here to hold set it up get it ready so that way you can quickly apply it see it's already getting pretty strong I haven't adhered the bottom yet but it's already getting pretty strong to do the purpose I want it to all right I'm gonna finish her up let her cure and we'll set up the tarp all right I took a little finagling and stuff but I got tarp up holes are a little too weak so I ended up found a few little pieces of pipe and old broom handle and stuff like that different things that I could uh, kind of brace it a little bit but they are thin I will have to eventually get something sturdier this one here has a larger piece of pole I need to find another piece of pole like that that doesn't cost a fortune. But with living on a budget, pinching pennies right now, this is my setup with things that I pretty much had. There is a tree over there, as you can see. I got it tied to the center. I only had enough stuff for two poles. Up on top, I borrowed the neighbor's ladder. I climbed up there. I've got a carabiner on the tarp and then the carabiner tied to the railing. Let's see if I can get somewhere to show you without... Sorry if I'm going too fast. Get back here. This is one of those heavy duty tarps. Mildew resistant. I gotta rearrange my picnic table and everything, but I'll have to get help at the picnic table because that is extremely heavy. Try to go this way. There's one of my flowers. I would like to make some of these. They are awesome. Made out of dishes. I got yellow wind chime up. But stand back here by the road. And there is my shade. The afternoon sun always comes on this side. Or if it starts to rain. I'm not sure how good it's going to hold up in a pretty good wind. But that's my DIY. Say I made these poles at $6 a piece. The rope I've already had. Carabiners I had gotten quite a while back. But... I actually need to get larger ones. Hasta la vista, baby.